Hollywood officially, the actors are now on strike with the writers. The writers have been on strike going on three months. The actors have joined them, which means they are now a united front against the studios. And Bob Iger, the, the guy who is known for being able to smooth talk everything and make everybody feel good about everything, he had a big misstep yesterday. Actually said a lot yesterday about how kind of they've put out too many Marvel movies and all these things. But one thing really caught fire, um, this interview he gave right before the writers officially uh, went on strike, Disney CEO Bob Iger says writers and actors are not being realistic with strikes. It's very disturbing to me. And he goes on to talk about how some of the writers' demands aren't very realistic and things like this. Well, of course, he immediately got the finger pointed at him and said, you came back to work two years for $54 million, yet you're saying that these people who can't feed their cats uh, are having unrealistic demands. Then somebody decided to show some receipts in a very embarrassing fashion, both for Disney and for himself, to be honest. She-Hulk TV writer blasts Disney CEO by revealing their surprisingly low payment. So the guy who wrote the episode of Daredevil's cameo in She-Hulk, you know, the episode where Daredevil got treated like absolute shit, well, he revealed how much money he got paid for that. Cody yeah. Ziegler, the residual check from my episode of She-Hulk was $396. Oof. Now, on one hand, I would argue that that's probably $396 too, too much. That's true. <laughs> because this is, this is a terrible TV show that got rejected by everybody on a streaming service that during the time where She-Hulk was airing, the two quarters that it overlapped lost $1.5 billion in one of those quarters and then lost 2.4 million subscribers and $1 billion in the next quarter. So if you're failing, if the streaming service isn't making money, what should your residuals really be? Either way, it's just a lightning rod of criticism towards Bob Iger and Disney for things like this. But 396, this is one of the big things they're arguing about is residuals when it comes to streaming, while streaming's not making money. But the writers still want to get paid like they are for the TV series they get residuals from. It's just a nightmare right now. And Bob Iger stepped in it with his comments, at least from a PR perspective. I just don't see any scenario where Bob Iger gets this thing turned around. I really don't. Bob Iger is doing a really bad job from top to bottom right now. Historically, he's not done a bad job in terms of running the company as a business, uh, even though he's made a lot of creative decisions that uh, have not made a lot of people happy from a business standpoint. Historically, he's done good. But with everything going on, with Disney as a whole. And then you have all of this stuff with the writer strike. And now these comments, like who would want to go work for a company like this? Now there's still going to be mindless drones out there that will. But I mean, at this point in time, like you don't really get to have a pass at this point in time anymore. Even if you work for Disney, like you know what you're getting into. You know what I mean? Like it's trash now. So many people growing up had this fantasy of like working for Disney. You know, oh, I just want to work for Disney because it was the name, the Walt Disney Company, and it had an image and it had a history. That is no longer this company. The romantic way that people viewed Disney all of those years ago is it's an understandable thing from all of that time ago. Anyone that gets involved with Disney at this point in time, you almost get what you deserve. How can you not understand this company fucking hates you? They are not the company that you thought they were and that's just the reality of the situation right now and the more and more people think that they are something they're not it's almost your fault now they are not the company that you believed that they were and you just have to fully understand that they hate you they hate the people they hate the fans they hate the people that work for them they hate the continuity of the properties that they have control over they just despise you period end of discussion that's just it so i don't i don't see how it, that changes in the near future it's all just a big game and uh bob Iger is pocketing millions and millions and millions of dollars while they're continuing to lose millions and millions of dollars something doesn't add up in this equation at all he showed where his investment was he put his investment in virtue signalers and uh you know people who had zero track record didn't have anything they were failing upwards uh because they wanted to control them he wanted to put no name directors in these in these high positions to direct these big tv shows these high budget movies uh because the studio wanted to control them but now it's self-sustaining at this point they've hired way too many of these virtue signalers and left-wing nut jobs that 
if he were to want to do anything about it, he is going to get heavily ridiculed because of the stance that he took. So he's he's really shot himself in the foot here. I'm not I'm not like siding with Disney or anything. Also, that's not all he got paid, right? He got paid up front as well for work he did. But residuals are a big way in which so many of these writers end up making their money throughout the year or even make enough to qualify to get their benefits and things like that from the union. So to do something that probably a lot of money was put into, blah, 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 all this stuff. Yeah, you would expect to get more than $396. But what if that thing didn't generate any fucking money? And that's the problem with streaming. This is the fight that's going on right now with writers. It's over streaming because so much of the work they're doing is on streaming and they're not seeing the same numbers back in return as they did in traditional TV because streaming is losing money. So should they be getting that same money if the product is not making money? No, but you understand why they're upset about that. You understand why they're they're looking at like doing even more work than they had been doing before and getting paid far, far less because of the shift that Hollywood has had to focus on streaming. Overall, you know what the real problem is? This shit's bad. It's bad writing. It's bad quality, bad yep. shows, bad movies. That's Hollywood's biggest problem. All of this stuff is ancillary problems to that. But at the end of the day, if something's good, you're not going to have as big of an issue. There's a reason Disney's losing billions of dollars. It's not because everything they're putting out is great. It's because most of what they're putting out is dog shit.